tofu stuffed beet wraps. So first we are going to make the dough for the wraps. And we are using whole grain you can use, whole wheat flour. We are using whole wheat. So this is two cups of flour. And this is one cup of beets puree, which I pureed in this blender. So basically I have this already boiled beets. You can use two medium on one large. It depends on the size of the beets you have. So the ratio you can keep one cup to two cups. And since beets have enough liquid of their own, you might not need to add water. That's what we need to keep it in mind. Not to make the dough too soft. It has to be good dough so we are able to roll out the wraps okay and now also when you puree make sure you take out some extra we're gonna be making also beet yogurt to serve with the wraps and now to this first i'm gonna add some salt according to your taste I'm adding some red chili powder. This is optional because I don't want the red chili powder to be added later on with the tofu. It might make the wraps a little soggy. And, but we are using green chilies later on. So that's why I'm adding this to the dough itself. It's gonna blend nicely. And the dough is gonna be more spicy. Another thing we are using is any seeds a juan this is again optional but it adds flavor to the dough if you want you can add this to straight to tofu as well but if you are making it for your kids maybe they don't like it you can do this way there and now this is coconut oil you can use any other oil you want to but we're not gonna pour in any coconut oil now. It's only once the dough is done. And I'm using my mixer to knead the dough. So let's do it. So the dough is done. You see, it's not too loose, not too tight. Like it has to be at least good consistency to roll out easily. And in the end, we use a little bit of oil. And now we're gonna put the dough in the fridge. That way it will be nice and chilled, easy to roll out the wraps as well. While we make the stuffing okay now for stuffing this is the tofu um, it's two small cubes of tofu and it depends also like how much you want in the stuffing but try to avoid to put too much at the same time and another important thing you want to do is before you even like use your tofu make sure you have something like this a the kitchen cloth, a clean kitchen cloth or a muslin cloth, anything which can squeeze out the extra water of tofu before you use this for the recipe because any moisture in the tofu is going to be a disaster for your root your wrap. So make sure you take out the water and then here's the one we already did without water and you notice this is chopped onions finally chopped i'm not using any chopper i don't want onions to leave any kind of water and notice how it's in the paper towel this also helps if there's any moisture or any uh, water left in the onions it's gonna soak up while we add it to our stuffing green chilies is optional we are not using it but just in case now the spices we're gonna use to put in the stuffing is black salt you can use plain salt this is garam masala all mix of all the indian spices you can use garam masala you can use 
there's another spices mix which is called kitchen king masala or we will be using this this is mango pickle masala now now why pickle masala because it really enhances the flavor of this tofu and even the tofu haters they won't notice it's literally like a paneer stuffing so that's why we are using this but you can use any other spices you want to no restrictions but another thing we want you to do is i mean to say i'm teaching you when you start filling the wraps make sure you do not want to add all the spices at the same time because the spices are gonna leave water moisture like so what we'll be doing is just adding it like this for each stuffing mix it now if you're using spices like this the achari masala style i don't think so you'll be adding any more chilies to this because this one already has chilies and just uh, be, be, make sure like you are not allergic to any seeds because this does have uh, fennel seeds um knee seeds and um, fenugreek seeds so we'll be making and mixing it for each wrap like this i mean we don't i don't recommend you putting this all at once we don't want anything to leave any moisture in this topping while doing this so now let's start filling our wraps now we are also making yogurt beet yogurt to serve it on the side with the wrap so we'll be adding some now this is all according to taste black salt so you notice there's already that beet puree we took out a little bit deeper before we were adding it to the dough so we added that to the yogurt now i have this spice mix for yogurt which is literally roasted a uh, little bit cumin seeds um dry coriander seeds and other spice mix of other spices you can make your own or you can buy this one from store and some black pepper and that's it mix it together and then we are ready to serve the yogurt and so with the wrap until you're ready to so keep this in the fridge okay so we are now all set to start making rolling out our wraps stuffed wraps which is pranta in punjabi so the dough is ready here's a dry flour and here's our stuffing and you'll be needing one for gasbel and i'll show you why and now this is up to you if you want to take dough first roll it out and just roll the balls first before you go ahead with to start rolling out the wraps it's optional up to you but i'm gonna be doing it together so what i'll do is we're gonna make two wraps separate and then we're gonna join them together so roll out two Make sure both of them are the same size. Okay, so now we have two wraps like this. And notice I enough I used enough dry flour because I don't want to keep dipping it again. And then if you think you have not much, just put a little bit more, but you don't want to use too much. Now I'm gonna take the filling. The idea is that I do not want to roll out the wraps too much after I put the filling. Time save and also it comes out perfect. Oh. Filling depends, but just keep it simple. Put this one together. Squeeze with your hands a little bit. Sprinkle a little bit of flour. And now 
roll it out slowly don't go too hard you don't want the stuffing to come up now using the fork this is optional you see how this is all nicely like joined together but if you think it's not you can use this and this add another flavor um not flavor sorry <laughs> design to the front tea mm, mm, mm. and that's it the pan is already on the stove on low it's all warm let's just put our front tea right there now mama can yes, you sweetie? give me a tip on how to make these so yummy faster faster is organization skills oh. why because you see i have space to work with so i'm glad um what i do normally is i wrap out i mean roll out the wraps to quickly cook now i have almost three ready to go one is already which we're going to show you later in a minute it's going to be done so this is easy way to quick faster now i can just stuff and quickly make it well Mm, so That's smart. Done. Yeah. Thanks, Mama. Okay, let's now move on because our brunch is done. The one we're gonna serve now. Yeah. Bring, take out the extra flour if you think there's any. Bring it to medium to high. And now, Mama ne ki sikhaya ki thano jethi cooking karna tu sikhi karna saara kuch jaldi jaldi organize bhi karke rakhna, right? Mm -hmm. So, what do we have here? Oil, a brush. That's why we are using brush? So it's less oil less because oil. we don't like too much oil on um, protein, right? Mm -hmm. And you notice like how there's a foil here, mm -hmm. and the reason is if there's anything like any oil drops, it literally don't go on my stove, mm -hmm. and I don't have to worry. And if you're not serving it right away, you can always just put a paper towel in the container and foil underneath. The paper towel literally takes away all the moisture, if any, comes from the prune tea. You can keep it in the container and warm it again a bit later or keep it in the fridge, serve it next day. Mm -hmm. So one side done, it goes another side and we'll be using very less oil to finish up our prune tea. So this is done and now we are spreading a little bit butter because we didn't use really too much oil. This is optional and we'll be using our pizza cutter because this way it's nice. We done plate. I mean it looks nice to plate the front teeth. You want to do like this. And here's our yogurt. You can serve it with some pickle as well if you like to. And that's it. It's done. Yum!